Hello everyone. Today I and Plague will be showing you how to complete the beehive as well as some tips. Before entering the beehive here are two upgrades that are really useful for beehive. One, player speed. Player speed can help run past more obstacles faster and dodge them more effectively. Two, beat timer. Beat timer allows the player to bump into more obstacles and escape faster. So in the beehive you need to avoid to touch anything or else 10 seconds from your bee timer will be deducted. Each of them deduct 10 seconds from your timer when touched. 1. Hexagon. Hexagon is a place where it spins non-stop. There is an opening in the middle and you are supposed to go through it to get to the other side. If you get hit by anything in there it decrease the timer by 10 seconds. 2. Honey droplets. Honey droplets drop continuously and in between each droplet there is a space for the player to get in. It is recommended to run through three droplets at once while not holding any item. While holding item move two droplets at once unless you have better player speed. If you get hit by the droplets it reduces timer by 10 seconds. 3. Honey ball. Honey ball are the balls that can go left and right or up and down. It is recommended to follow behind the ball going left and right to get to the other side and go to the top of the ball going up and down. The objectives are to first get the flower then paralysis the queen and choose one of the three rewards, 2000 resin, 75 honeydew or a honeycomb, and quickly leave in time. The honeycomb is used to summon a flying creature called the hornet that can be very useful in early and late game, both defense and attack.